Hi, hello everyone, it's Only One Gamer, and welcome back to the Terraria Let's Play. This is part 20, and I hope everyone's having an absolute brilliant day out there. And yes, this is the 20th part of this Let's Play. It is bizarre that we're already on part 20, and this part is going to be the grand part indeed for why you guys ask. Well, we're going to finally be killing the Eater of Worlds. Now, I said I wanted to kill him with a harpoon. I wanted to get the harpoon for the harpoon makes the boss battle incredible easy from what I've seen and heard and I just really wanted to get the harpoon so it would just flow a lot better but I said I you know the goblin army might not never attack again I it might take forever and I want to progress further into the game and get shadow scare oh uh, armor that way we can just go to the underworld mine hailstone with a demonic pickaxe I think we can get and uh, it's just gonna be great this really opens up a lot of stuff Forest if I successfully kill this guy so it's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go ahead and make three mana stars because well I had all these mana stars well three mana stars mana crystals I had like so many mana stars stored up and then I was just like you know what let's do it let's increase our mana by a lot we are really decked out but mana isn't gonna help us on this boss fight because I don't have no use to it I don't have no mage weapons or anything mage related sadly um hey do you guys like the little bench I added out here um it's not much you can't really use it oh and I, I forgot to show you guys I added another storage room all golden chests because this is just an elegant storage room indeed there's nothing in these chests yet because I have not filled them full of anything but oh and also um, added a sunflower statue to our statue room, so a little bit of improvements here and there. Um, you, you guys may notice a little adjustments that I make, um, and that's for you guys to point out and see. But I'm um, gonna be doing this with golden armor and some meteor leggings. Um, I know this isn't the best armor, it's, I'm really probably not suitable for this, but I'm gonna go with it and hope. And look how much demonic bars and meteorite bars. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, another meteorite crashed, so we have. A ton more meter right but this stuff really has no use for me now unless I make more face blades and etc I guess I mean that's always beneficial but um okay let's see yep I went ahead and got the spiky balls out and the shurikens because I'm mainly gonna be using the shurikens because I got them I need to get them used you will see I already got my bow and everything hotkey I got 51 unholy arrows I mean I'm ready for this um, but we will go to our potion chest and take whoa whoa some iron skin potion because that's going to increase our defense and it's going to benefit us and let's say we, we want to save the gravitation potion for a skeletron which we will kill once we have the mini shark so that will be awesome indeed and this is all preparation guys arrow speed archery potion you'd never know uh, maybe that speeds up um arrow speed and damage i'm hoping that speeds up shurikens as well since that is like a, a ranged type of weapon but i'm not for sure so and then for the last potion, we want potion of swiftness just so we can move around a little bit faster and this boss doesn't get the best of us. So I know I'm a little bit over prepared. I know people have defeated the Eater of Worlds with like four hearts, like just starting out the game. But you guys got to keep in mind that people are pros and they've played the PC version and played the game as a lot. And me, I'm a noob. Like this is the blind walkthrough slash let's play that I'm bringing you guys. Um, I never, I never like really play Terraria much at all before so this is all new to me I've never fought none of these bosses and that's why I have such a hard time with the Aya Cthulhu I guess and because the Aya Cthulhu really proved to be difficult for me because I, I just I don't know every time I go to fight a boss I, I really anticipate it and it really builds up momentum and I get so worried I'm not gonna kill him and I guess I just gotta really think positive and think of the best outcome oh no I'm used to having my face blade hot keyed and I accidentally took a potion Oh, that's a newbie move. It really is. Ah, oh, that's bad. Um, yeah, this is where the meteorite used to land. Uh, you can see there's a few pieces of meteorite there. But here we go. This is our um, boss arena. This is where we will fight the future Aya Cthulhu's that we summon. And this is where we fight in the Eater of Worlds. So I went ahead and built this. Um, took a lot of wood to build these platforms. Most people have more grand arenas, but a goblin army is approaching. Are you serious? I've been waiting for this moment. I've really been waiting for this moment. Let's get back to the... No way! I'm just recording, and it's like a goblin army is approaching. I was going to kill the Eater of Worlds. I was preparing. I was getting ready. And then this amazing news happens. And let's go ahead and uh, summon only one slime. There we go. There you go. And let's get back to the house. All right. Uh, did they say the east or the west? I don't know. I forgot. 
Um, but yes, finally, after so long of waiting and wanting it to happen, the Goblin Army is finally attacking again. And I'm so happy about it. Um, a lot of people dread the Goblin Army. I did at first. Oh, no, no, I ain't dying this time. I'm ready for all of you, and I want that harpoon. And I will get the harpoon that I've wanted so long. I gotta take out the sorcerer first. So there's a lot of these, and I just gotta make sure I remain strong, and I don't let them take the best of me and get that harpoon that I really want. And plus, our spiky balls are gonna increase by a lot. So we'll be ready for the Edor Worlds after this. So this is awesome, guys. And I remember when the first time the um, Goblin Army attacked, I was uh, so unprepared. I just got done killing the Ayakathuhu for the first time, I do believe. And yeah, it was just really not... Well, I was not ready for it. I really wasn't and they were attacking near my house and see now they're attacking me out here And I don't have to worry about them killing my NPCs and stuff like that So that's really beneficial there. I, I could probably use a health potion. Look at all these archers, man There's a lot of you. Come on. I need a harpoon. You guys have to drop me a harpoon now It's only right. I didn't get one the first time around. Does it like 75% drop rate of a harpoon? Like I gotta get one of these. It's just it's only right that Give me it. I really need it. It would be so epic. Well, these warriors are actually really strong. And these archers will take down your health slower and slower. And it's just, it's not good. I gotta take out these archers fast before they are the death of me. Yes, get out of here. Look at all these. This is insane. Whoa. Okay, the Steve's is everything. Okay. Nope. Alright. Whoa. Okay. I gotta be careful here. Okay, whoa. I gotta switch to my right stuff. Wow, there's a lot of these goblins. Come on, so many goblins. So little help. I ain't gonna do it. This, this is really hard. Like, the goblin army is really powerful, guys. I tell you this. Like, I'm slightly prepared. I I know what I can do. Yep. Throw some of these. That will devastate them. All right. Yes. How do you like the spiky balls? All right. I'm going back towards my house now. This ain't good. Go. Yes. There we go. That's what I like to see. Yes. Give me gold. Give me all the good loot that I love. Yes, a day bloom. Still haven't got a harpoon. I'm really wanting that harpoon. I request that I get a harpoon. I really do. Come on. I need the harpoon really badly. You guys don't understand how bad I need it. I need it because that will how that will make killing the eater of worlds so easy. It really will. So yeah, um, if you guys got spiky balls, use it for the goblin army because that is balls. I tell you, the truth. This is amazing. Just go collect all my loot here. Yep, yep. Oh. Oh, there's the harpoon! We just got the harpoon! I'm done. My life is complete. My life is complete. It really is. It's complete. I'm so happy now. I've wanted this thing for so long, and I finally got it, and I don't even know what to say now. I really don't. Only one slime is here with us. He's like, oh, I will help fight. Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, goblin thief. Quit, bro. Quit. You're damaging me too much. I'm just so happy we got the harpoon. Like I don't even, I don't even care anymore. It's just like we got the harpoon. We're done. What more do we need? We killed the, I killed him. I killed the goblin army without dying. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. And shall I say it again? I'm a boss. Okay, maybe I shouldn't get overcut. Oh, never mind. I thought I killed the goblin army. Oh well, confidence just got lowered. Uh, Cause the music cut away, and I thought it was done, but I forgot. It tells you the goblin army has been defeated. Ah, oh, come on. Are you serious? <sighs> that's what happens when you get too uh, cocky and happy. Um, yeah, that's just brilliant. Bloody brilliant, it really is. It's bloody brilliant. Um, now everything just is not going well. This is bad, this is bad. And this is even, that's my tombstone. What do you know? All right. Well, that is, that is nice. Um, very nice. Oh, I can't believe that. I thought I defeated them, and then they were like, Nope, you thought you defeated us? Well, you thought wrong. And that is so nice. It really is. Uh, Alright, well, either way, I will still prevail from this. How much... How many more do I have to kill to prove myself? Come on. Let's be real here. Oh, more thieves coming from this direction. Oh, no. No, no, no. We cannot allow this. This mockery. Okay, whoa. Take a potion. A potion. Take it. Thank you. Oh, this didn't work half the time. Like, what is up with that? Okay, go, go, go. Oh, go. You're dead. Oh, these things are amazing. I, I died once, which is kind of disappointing because I, I thought I already destroyed the goblin army, so it took me off. Don't tell me it's done. 
All right. I knew it because I still heard. I like it didn't tell me it was defeated. I'm not. I'm not being deceived this time. You tricked me the first time, but it's not happening again. It's really not. I can't allow it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Take out these warriors real quick. These archers will kill you if you don't watch it. Like, come on, bro. Archers are not good. I don't like them. I'm gonna die now because of the archers. I can't use the health potion either. No, these chaos. No, this is bad. Ugh. Get away. Let me use the health potion. Ugh. Oh, great. You're peering up here. These sorcerers are so dangerous. Alright. There we go. Now I'm ready to go again. I got a little bit more health. Let's do this. Oh, look at all the health here. Alright. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love when health drops. I'm just not good at fighting in this game. Um, I don't know why. I'm just. I'm, it's not my specialty. It's really not. Look at these sorcerers. Get out of here. Go. Come on. I'm actually doing a lot better this time. I remember the first time I died so many times. It was just really treacherous for me. And plus, I do have rocket boots and everything now. So, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a boss. The goblin army has been defeated. We'll get the rest of these guys out of here. The blasting annoying. Okay. Blasting annoying? I don't even know what I'm saying. I just want these guys dead. So, that took like a lot of time on its own. Killing this stupid goblin army. Uh, I'll just leave my tombstone there for the time we died facing the goblin army the second time. You know, I could have probably got out my harpoon during that and just pwned them. But I was like, you know what, I, w I won't even bother using the harpoon. Okay, let's go acquire some more health. Did I seriously get two harpoons? I got two harpoons. What are the ch- Like, you know what, that's what I don't understand, guys. Um, I, f I faced the goblin army the first time and I don't get no harpoons. Like none and the drop weight rate so high and then I get two this time well either way I'm happy I got my harpoon and things are quite dandy indeed and well I finally got the harpoon I really should just end this part here and be like now we're gonna face the eater worlds in the next part but since this is part 20 and this is like a, a even number mark in the let's play I might as well go all out keep that in and as well kill the eater of worlds all in one part just to make it epic, unless I die against the Eater of the Worlds, which I hope that don't happen. I really hope it doesn't happen, so I don't need that. Um, I'm clearing my inventory a little bit. I can put these star. Whoop, whoop, nope, nope. Put these stars in there, and all right, I think we're one step closer to <sighs> killing the Eater of the Worlds. Yeah. So um, okay, so let me. I finally have this harpoon after so long of wanting it, and it, it couldn't have even been at a better time. Whoa, bro, oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. I'm digging that. Look at that. That is so cool. I hope this thing really does a good job. Like, after so long of wanting it, it happened at the best time. I was about to summon the Eater of Worlds and kill him, and then it's like, oh, you're about to summon the Eater of the Worlds? Well, no problem. We will, we will give you all your epic stuff that you need to face this balls and I'm like all right well thank you Terraria you really generous this part that is absolutely fantastic um but yeah we're getting headed back over to the arena um I wouldn't mind fighting the Aya Cthulhu and actually winning this time instead of dying again that, that Aya Cthulhu always proves to be difficult for me for some reason like it's supposed to be one of the easiest next to the King Slime and boss fight wise but I just never can to seem to defeat it and I think I'm gonna have a better time with the Eater of the Worlds being honest with you guys all right so we made it are you guys ready this is the moment of truth, legitly this time, because the goblin army didn't, it stopped us the first time, but, <sighs> let's do this, alright, let's go down here and destroy that shadow orb, and, whoa, 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 oh yeah, the harpoon is amazing, I can already tell it's gonna be amazing, so, <sighs> alright, I'm gonna go ahead, take potions, like, I'm taking all my potions, all right, let's do this. What should not even summon it? Okay, the either of the worlds has awoken. Okay, let's let's get out of it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh no, no, that was not supposed to happen. Okay, let's get to the surface. All right, let's face this guy. Okay, and I don't know if this is woken how I want it to woke, but um, the harpoon. Oh, we're getting circled. Come on, no, no, no. Okay, wow. Um, this is, um, this is the Eater of the Worlds. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't know how I feel about this. I hope this is gonna go well. 
Okay, so far we haven't took no health down, so that's... We haven't lost much health. Took health down. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Give me a break, guys. This is intense. Okay. Let's go. Wow, this Eater of the Worlds is huge. Like, whoa. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Whoa, I'm doing a lot of damage right now. Oh, yeah. This harpoon was really helping us out. I, I You know what? Now I'm looking at it. Oh, he's already dropping Shadow Scale and Demon Knight. Or this is amazing. All right, I'm going to save that heart in case I need it. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. You died today. This is actually not that bad. Um, I'm actually quite shocked, even though I do have um potion buffs and stuff on. But come on, no, attack him. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, whoa, one of them broke off. No, thank you. All right, so we're going to get better armor after this and everything. Whoa. So if you attack them at the head, then it seems to kill them a little bit faster. So it seems. Yeah, sweet. All right. Wow, this is really. Whoa, this is really beneficial. Yeah, well, this is this is working. Yeah, look at this. This is. Wow. That's how you get stuff done right there. That is that is insane. I've not took no damage at all. Is this like the easiest boss fight in the game? Like, I'm being serious right now. It really seems that way. Like, I don't even know what to say right now. Like, we could honestly just continue summoning him and killing him. He's that easy. Look at this. Oh, oh, combo action. We're taking him down right here. This is it. This is it. This is the final finale. It of the Worlds has been defeated. I took no help. What? The? Harpoon OP. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. That was... That was... Impressive, but at the same time, not even a challenge. Um... So, Demon Knight, Shadow Scale, I girls, really, you really want to play this game with me? I just killed the Eater of the Worlds. Okay, <clears throat> so, that is, that is amazing. I don't even know what to say. Let's go make some better armor and make this day even better. This part is part 20. Um, one of the best parts yet. You guys have to leave your comments. Like, I'm requesting right now. I killed the Eater of the Worlds, I destroyed the Goblin Army. You guys have to leave a comment, like, just scroll down, be like, this is awesome, you know, awesome, so, just type awesome in the comment section, you know what I'm saying, like, if you guys are watching this, just type awesome, and then if you want to say something else, and I will read it and reply to you, because everyone out there that watches my videos are truly the best people in the world, so if you watch this, then you're, you're cool, you're really cool, actually, um, so, let's go ahead and craft some more of these, like, so, as long as I don't make a... An axe or something on accident. I hate... Like, on the console, everyone has a... Whoa, what is this? The breaker? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I like it the way that sounds. The war axe of the night. No, there it is. The nightmare pickaxe. Why do we need this? Because we can mine hellstone and get even better armor. We're making this. There we go. We got a nightmare pickaxe now. Oh, man. This is amazing. Oh, this is so exciting. Like, things are unfolding now. I mean, it's just amazing. Okay, so I can't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop going crazy. I can't make a shadow helmet. Okay, um, but I can't make the a shadow scale mail because it's. Oh, I don't have enough, sadly. But I guess I can get away with making either the greaves or the helmet. And the helmet's just cool, so let's make that. All right. That. Oh, look at it. Kind of ties in with the meteor leggings. So now we're wearing a bit of everything. We have a Shadow Skill helmet, a Goad chainmail, and Meteor leggings. It's kind of weird, but we're spicing it up, showing all the armor some love, and it's quite awesome indeed. So I'm going to go sell my Golden Pickaxe, the memorable Golden Pickaxe we've had for so long to Alfred. He now gets to take care of it. So here you go. Take care of this godly Goad Pickaxe. Alfred, and, well, we moved on to greater things, the Nightmare Pickaxe. Now, it would be bad if I accidentally sold that to him, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, so, oh, this is awesome. I, I want to know how fast this thing mines. Let's just go down into the mines a little bit and see how this thing is before I end the part. Um, Alright, so fly over here. Um, I think this thing is supposed to be, like, a lot faster and just more amazing. 
yeah, this is, this is, I'm digging it. I'm really digging this. I love this. It's so epic and stylish, and I can't wait to go to the underworld, um, because we can find a bunch of cool things down there, but also the demons can be kind of scary, and we gotta be careful in the underworld, because we don't want to accidentally summon the wall of flesh, which will make us enter hard mode. We definitely, well, it might only enter hard mode if you defeat the wall of flesh. I'm not sure, but I don't want to take the chance, so in the underworld, we're gonna have to be extremely careful and watch our back at all times. So, and with that in sight, I hope you guys enjoyed this epic part 20. Um, it was indeed amazing part, and I just, like, part 19, we kind of just did some more exploration under the underground jungle. I mean, it was not the best, but this part really is amazing, and I love this harpoon. This thing, look at this. This is, ama this is probably one of the best weapons in the game, actually. It's that good. Hey, well, don't mind if I do. Thank you, Fallen Star and a day bloom. <laughs> so I'm going to stop searching this on, and I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you guys for watching. This is Only One Gamer, and... Only one slime, signing out.